Praise God. I am Apostle Andrew Were Wafuho from Mumiasi, Kenya, a trainer of Bible students in Amo Bible College, Mumias Campus here in Kenya. We are talking about soteriology, which comes from Greek word soteria, means to serve, set free, and to deliver the doctrine of salvation. Now, man's problem was sin. God's plan to provide solution to man's problem is through the work of salvation in the person of Christ. Now, we see in Christ the barrier between God and humanity, which was sin, is removed. We have got three phases of salvation, or three stages of salvation. The First state of salvation, the penalty of sin is paid by Christ for our redemption. The present stage of salvation, we are being preserved from the present evil powers. The future stage of salvation, we are assured of safety from the future doom. Now let's talk about the finished work of salvation. The Greek word teleo means completed action with continuing result or to fulfill a command. That is why on the cross, we are said it is finished. When Christ said it is finished, it means the battle is fully won. The work of salvation is fully done. The debt is fully paid and the ascendant is fully served. God removes the barrier and allows man to reconcile to him. Christ's coming has brought to us relationship that was lost. Now, let's see the word reconciliation. The Greek word katalaso means to change from an enmity to friendship. Reconciliation is the overall work of Christ to restore man to God through redemption, justification, regeneration, and Propitiation. God the Father is the source of reconciliation. Christ is the accomplisher of reconciliation. The Holy Spirit is the enabler of reconciliation. The believers are ministers and proclaimers of reconciliation. The results of reconciliation include forgiveness, relationship, peace, and holiness. Now let's talk about propitiation. Also, also, it means satisfaction. Now, we see life, work, death, and resurrection of Christ appeased, pleased, and satisfied God, the Father, on behalf of humanity. Now, the Greek word for satisfaction includes the following. Hilasmos, which means appeasement or satisfaction. Hilas Terion, which means place of satisfaction. The Ark of the Covenant, which pointed to Christ, is the place of final satisfaction of God's holiness. The Ark of the Covenant that were located in the center of Holy of Holies pointed to Christ, who is the center of satisfying the holiness of of God. Now, when you talk about kingdom function, God's presence between the two cherubim, which is stood on the top of the masjid of the Ark of the Covenant, pointed to Christ, who extended God's presence and kingdom rule on earth. Now, when we look on the Ark of the Covenant, we can have a revelation or revelations. The Aaron rod that budded pointed to the power of resurrection of Christ which included us. The gold and wood that were used to make the Ark of the Covenant pointed to the divinity and humanity of Christ. The temple or the temple, the tablet of the law pointed to the will of, of God that was fulfilled by Christ on behalf of humanity. 
the lead of the ark, the Hebrew word, kiparoth, means satisfaction, place, pointed to Christ, the final place of satisfaction of the holiness of God. Now, let's talk about redemption, which means deliverance that results from, from repayment of great price. Let's see the Greek words of redemption. Agorazo, which means to buy from the market. Because in the Old Testament, the, slave were, the slaves were, were brought to the market to be purchased or to be bought. Now, just Christ came and purchased us from sinful environment. Another word of, of Greek that stands for deliverance or that stands for redemption is exagorazo. The word exagorazo means to purchase out. As it was the sons of Israel when they were purchased out of the lands of slavery, so it is to us today, Christ has purchased us out of the sinful environment. Another Greek word is lutro, which means to release by price. This pointed to the blood of Christ that releases us from bondages. Now in Christ we gain our identity. We become sons of God. We have internal redemption. We have internal inheritance. We are new creation. We are born again. We have life. And we are redeemed. So, the Holy Spirit activates what Christ has accomplished. And that includes the reconciling work of Christ of giving spiritual life and new births in our lives. God bless you. Amen.